our new caravan and for the last few weeks we've been shopping for all the essential items that we need um, to put in it. Um, so I'm just going to take you through the things that you will need or what we need um, for inside the caravan. Bearing in mind that we are a couple on our own. We don't have any children. Children have all grown up and do their own thing now. They don't want to come caravanning with mum and dad. Right, so first of all, this was everything that was in our spare bedroom at home. Um, quite a bit, as you can see. Under the bed, we've got the aqua roll and the waste master and a few other bits and pieces, chairs and just bits and pieces. That's the kids' job under the bed. Um, right, so let's let me take you through what we have here. First of all, um, pillows, duvets, mattress cover, um, some uh, bed throws, some extra throws for on the couch in the evening if it's chilly, you just want to put a little throw over you. Um, kitchen bits and pieces and also the bathroom. Okay, so when we're travelling we keep um, kitchen bits and pieces and bathroom bits and pieces in these collapsible crates. They're really convenient to use. Um, kitchen where I normally keep down the floor on this side of bed just on a little bit of anti-slip mat and then all the bathroom bits and pieces I store on the other side um, so it's really convenient. Uh, then you just pull the box up and put it away when you're not using them. Okay, the kitchen. Um, we don't use melamine plates or plastic plates. When we had our last caravan, when we first started out, we bought everything plastic because that's what we thought needed, but you don't. Um, we actually use these plates. They are, um, oh, I've forgotten the name. Luminarch, there we go. <laughs> these are Luminarch plates, which are really hard wearing and really durable. Um, they're not too big, so they fit in the basin when we're washing up. And they're just perfect size, really. Um, so we've got plates, and we've got the bowls, and the side plates as well. Um, glasses, we use these for having our little drink at night. Uh, we've gone for these because the thin, long stem glasses can be prone to breaking quite easily. So these are, they've got a little stubby base, a little stubby stem. Um, and they're great just for having a drink and they tend not to fall over and get broken. Other essential items are cheese grater, ice cube tray, uh, plastic jug, what else have we got here? Oh, some coffee mugs. Little jug, little jar that we use for spare change in the caravan. Uh, kitchen roll holder, got some skewers in there. Got a glass chopping board, per glass because the plastic ones, they tend to score and it's not really hygienic because they harbour bacteria. And a little tray. And, oh, this is really great little thing. It's a salt and pepper pot. Um, this end's pepper, you just turn it, the other end, you turn it upside down and the salt comes out. So really handy little gadget. gadget. Oh, and we've also got here our um, placemats and drinks coasters. Our one concession to plastic is in fact these little plastic tumblers. Um, we have these um, just to take to bed at night, just to get, get thirsty in the night, to have a little sip of water. And um, we get plastic because previously we had glassware and put it there and forgot to clear it away in the morning and opened the wardrobe door and the glass smashed and the water went everywhere. So thought well, that's when we need plastic. Um, now I've had these at home and I thought they would be suitable for here, but they're not. I would recommend getting one that is shorter than the door opening, because as you can see, open and it smashes. So I need to go shopping again and get a, a, a little glass that is a little bit um, smaller than that. So we don't have any more mishaps because I get told off. So going to the cooking when we're in the caravan. Um, the oven generally comes with just one rack and we find that that's not enough so we get an additional rack, this is a universal rack, um, the, the sides pull out so it will fit any oven which is great. Um, generally we only cook in, in the caravan during the winter months, um, in the summer it's always outside either barbecuing um, or I know the Kadak is the latest thing, we haven't got one yet but I think that's on Keith's list. <laughs> Does like it. Then we've got a couple of 
oven trays. There. Um, three little saucepans. Don't need two saucepans, the two of us when we're away. And then a couple of frying pans. Large one and then small one. Get the small ones in the morning. Sometimes we like to do fried bread or eggy bread, as my kids used to call it, French toast. <laughs> um, little vacuum cleaner, little handheld vacuum cleaner. It's great. Um, just go around all corners. Great little nozzle. Perfect for the job. Now the bin we've got. This is a great piece of kit. Um, we've had bins for outside in the awning before and the legs were really spindly and weak and it would either fall over or the weight of the bag in it would um, just make it collapse. Um, so this, it all comes apart. Well, it does. Uh, it's got really sturdy legs and it's, you know, decent height and you just put your black bag in there. Um, actually comes with um, a little gadget here that you can store your bags in, a little area under here. Okay, all just slots together, so it's a great piece of kit, that. Now I'll go into my kettle. If you've seen our earlier videos, you know that our caravan was stolen and one of the items that was stolen was my kettle, which I was very precious about. Um, this is the little kettle. It's a Jewelit, um, just one litre, but I absolutely love it. It is a little bit more expensive, but it's my one indulgence. Okay, there we go. It fits perfectly on the counter. In the kitchen area that's my favorite thing <laughs> so moving on to the bathroom again we generally keep everything we need down here um oh this is just for dotting around the place there um oil diffusers they just make the place smell nice and they're resealable so you can just pop them away at the end of your trip little bin for the bathroom um microfiber cloth great for wiping down mirrors and the chrome handles this is another great little gadget um it's a magnifying mirror for those of you who have bad eyesight like myself. Um, it just, it's got a suction pad and you just stick it onto the bathroom mirror and it's got a little light on it. No batteries in it at the moment. Um, and you can swivel it to whatever position you want it to. Great little thing. Um, tissue box, uh, soap dispenser, toothbrush holder, bin liners, wipes, and then just your general, oh, little, um, hair traps um, when I wash my hair it tends to fall out a lot so just put them in the shower when I'm doing that just trap any hairs and then you've just got all your deodorants um, shampoo conditioner shower gel some medications paracetamol hay fever tablets um, soaps uh, plasters toothpaste that's all that oh we've got another couple of hooks here as well that we want to put on in the bathroom because there's only one in there uh, these are just adhesive, but they're really strong, so we'll put a couple of these up so there's more hanging space for dressing gowns, towels, that kind of thing. We just wanted to come over here. Right, so the bathroom, it's actually not the bathroom, there's other things as well. So you've got your pink and blue drink, as we call it, for the toilet. Tin foil, cling film, some uh, degreaser for cleaning the hob. Uh, bathroom cleaner. I also need to get a little disinfectant spray. Um, some pegs. Oh, we've also got a washing line. Forgot to mention that. It's a collapsible rotary one that pegs into the ground. Really great just to put up outside to dry your towels and your swimwear and any washing that you've got. Uh, washcloths, bin liners, uh, sort of swing bin liners just for the little bin in the front of the caravan. That's not a huge size. It fills up really quickly, but it's it's, it's fine for little bits and pieces. We, we do empty the bins every day. Um, so uh, black bin liners, washcloths, some little Ziploc food bags, notepad, pens, nail files, hangers. <laughs> Always keep a selection of hangers down here. Just leave them in the wardrobes when we're traveling. Then you can just put your clothes on them um, when you arrive. This we keep in the awning. It's a um, little canvas storage unit, really lightweight. We haven't assembled it yet, obviously. Um, when it is assembled, um, we just store it in the front of the caravan when we're traveling. Um, it's great, it's the zip up, but it's got several shelving and we generally use it for shoes. Um, when you go away, especially in winter, footwear you're not quite sure of, so you've got walking boots or wellies or trainers, and all sorts of things. Um, so we generally keep that for our shoes and then just other little bits and pieces that you need to store in the awning. So that's great. 
really sturdy as well. And it's only cheap, 9 99 um, What else have I got here? Um, let me just move across. Okay, a broom. I keep, I keep it in the wardrobe here. And this is not because I'm sweeping the inside of the caravan, it's uh, for sweeping the awning carpet. Um, when we take the awning carpet down, generally you do have a little bit of debris, even though you get clean it every day. Um, this just sweeps it all away at the end of your trip, and then your awning's nice and clean just to fold, your carpet is nice and clean just to fold up and put away. Little dustpan and brush. And then I always have this little scrubbing brush because the little mat as you step into the caravan um, it's, it's quite difficult to pick up debris on that the, the vacuum cleaner tends to struggle on that so just a little hard brushed uh, firm brush here you just sweep it up and it gets all that rubbish away um, these are just little ornaments and trinkets really just to decorate around just little artificial flowers um, Little things like this, that, and a little clock we always keep at the front. So, you know what the time is? Not that you want to know the time when you're on holiday. Utensils drawer in the kitchen area. It's just here. It's not huge, um, but it kind of fits everything in. So, you've got a spatula, wooden spoons, and uh, that's for Keith when he's barbecuing. Um, wooden spoons, brush for marinating. Um, long lighter, make sure that's not, there we go, scissors, selection of knives, um, chopsticks, sometimes when we're out we get a sticky Chinese tin opener, and for some reason we've got two corkscrews, I've no idea why, but um, knowing us it's probably handy just to have them. Um, funny story, um, last year when we were in France, we actually didn't have a corkscrew with us so I had to send Keith off around all the caravans asking to to borrow their corkscrew they, they were actually shocked that we didn't have one we do, don't bring um, suitcases they're room for storing a suitcase uh, what we do is we put all our clothing and all the bedding and all the towel in big bags like this they're great huge amount of space in them um, and then once you put all your stuff away you just fold them up and pop them under the bed. Uh, same with all the food and all your sauces and coffee and tea and jam, whatever you bring. Um, just pop it all in a bag and um, once we get here, put it all in the cupboards, what have you, again fold it up and put it under the bed. So nice space saving. So basically um, when we come away all we bring with everything is here all we bring with us are the bedding the sheets uh, towels clothes and food so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put everything in its place and then I'll just give you a little show around see what it's like 